Hello and welcome to the McKelvey Group training module. We will be training in Excel. In this video, we will be learning about how to use the sum product function in order to sum together the totals of multiple inputs for a selected value. We will also briefly learn about how to eliminate duplicates and alphabetize data. In the example provided in this video, we have two tables. The one to the left has several labor categories or work positions listed and the hours for each position. The table to the right is mostly empty and needs to be filled with the labor categories that are listed in the table to the left and the sum of the hours for each position. The positions are repeated on occasion in the table to the left and the hours vary each time the positions are repeated. Instead of manually going through the list and finding all of the repeated positions and adding together their totals for the list, we will use a few shortcuts that will validate our data, make sure that it's accurate, and this includes the sum product function. The first thing we want to do, step one, is list all of the labor categories into the table to the right and eliminate any repeats. To do this, we will highlight and copy and paste the labor categories into the table to the right. Then we will select our data by going control shift down if it's not already selected, and then go to the data ribbon and click remove duplicates. Or what we can do is also hit alt A M C for continue with current selection, then R for remove duplicates, and then OK. Then in order to make the labor categories easier to read, we can alphabetize our data A to Z by highlighting our data. So again, shift control down, then going to the data ribbon again and selecting sort A to Z. Or we could also hit Alt A, S, A, and then C, S. Okay. Then, in order to automatically sum the hours for each of the positions, we will click on the first cell in the hours per position column, or H4, then type the following formula, equals sum product, double parentheses, then highlight the labor categories in the hours from the table to the left that we want to search. Then we will lock in a rows and columns since this array will stay the same for each of the positions that we search. So again, you do that with the dollar sign in front of the cell and in front of the column. Then we will click or we will hit enter and click on the cell with the name of the labor category that I first went to search. So Cloud DevOps Engineer 2, G4 in this case. And then close parentheses, hit star on our keyboard parentheses, and then highlight the array of hours we wish for Excel to search through. Or again, that's uh, D4 through D63 in this case. Then we will lock this in because again, that data isn't going to change for all of the cells that we are searching, all of the positions that we're searching, then double close parentheses and hit enter. And as you can see, that populates the cell with the amount of hours summed. If we want to do this for all of the positions, we can right click and drag down and fill without formatting, or we could also copy that and go all the way down to the bottom, control B and then formulas. Um, now, if we need to round before this, which is highly recommended, we could have also done the following. Um, equals round and then continue with our same formula. So some product, double parentheses, the array, and then lock in our values, and then equals the first cell again that we're searching, then star, and then again our array, lock in our values, and then close parentheses, and then comma, and then the amount of places that you want to round to. So that could be two or zero usually, and then close parentheses again and hit enter. And again, we could copy that all the way down, fill without formatting. 